Geotechnical Engineering Part A Soil Mechanics Chapter 12 Shear Strength of Soil. We want to in this video we want to talk about a very interesting topic which is a criteria of, of shear strength in soil. So that criteria is the work of the Moore and Column Failure Criterion, which is the work of a German combined with a French scientist together created a criteria for sheer strength of a soil. Let's see in more detail about the, this criteria. So Charles Augustine Colomb, born in 1736 and, and died in 1806, early 19th century, was a French a engineer, physicist. One of his great work is on friction, which is related to the Moore and Coulomb failure criterion. Moore, uh, the Moore and Coulomb uh, presented a criterion which is represent the linear envelope of, of the shear strength of a material projected on applied material or an applied normal stress. Which we'll talk about them. The first part, this one is called a bone column work. And the second one is the work of Christian Otto Moore, which is a German scientist. This relation is expressed, we'll talk about it in a few minutes. And the second part is the work of an engineer, a structural engineer, German structural engineer in mid 19 and early 20th century, Christian Otomo, which is well known for more circles in stress and strain analysis. So we want to calculate a state of stress at point, for example, at a given point like point A in a 2D sample of a 2D surface of a sample of a material, for, like an example in a soil with internal a friction of C and angle of friction of phi is provided on, on, on that soil and we have a normal and a shear stress on the soil. You have two ways to calculate the stresses. The first one is the formula and the second one is drawing. The formula gives you the, let's go to the first one, which is the formula consists of two parts, which part A is the resisting part and the, the second part is applied load to the, so, to the soil sample. So the resisting one is tau is equal to C plus sigma times tangent of phi, which we are already in the previous video. We, we derived this equation and talk about the ingredient and the component of this equation. If you want, you can check out that video. And, and also the applied to the soil is consists of two parts which is a sigma is sigma one major plus minor over to the average of them plus major minus minor this time over two times cosine of two theta. And, and on the other side, tau is equal to, these are just from the more circle. So sigma my, one minus sigma sub three over two times sine of two theta are the applied, the two components are apply, of applied stresses to, to the soil sample, like there is a sigma all the time and like a shearing stress on our elements. So these are those two sigma and tau, which are, comes from the more circle of any stress analysis of any surface of, 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 of material, it just gives you the applied. And the resisting is just come from the strength of, of soil, which is tau is equal to cohesion plus normal times tangent of phi. If you 
look at the formula in terms of applied to the soil in more detail, you can easily see sigma is again this formula and tau is equal to my, minor major minus minor over the average time sine of two theta. But the point is sigma is sigma, the normal one, which applies to the soil. This is not the strength applied to the soil, but make the soil more stronger. It just says it just increases the resistance of soil. And that's an interesting point because all the applied forces is not destructive. But the second one, which is the nature of the shear, that's the has the nature like the essence of shear and that's applied to the soil that tries to, to destruct the soil, tends to fail the soil. So it just says there is a sigma applied to the soil and this sigma also that's applied to the soil that's not the resistance of soil but that makes the soil stronger you are making the soil more compact but the the failure one the the shear one it just tries to failure the soil in terms of either uh, turning it or, or also shear shear it apart from each other so the point is all the applied are not destructive you can have applied but that applied may be maybe in terms of the increasing of the resistance to the soil and if we just move to the drawing part this time so the calculation of the strip at a given point done but just this time by drawing it just gives us If you want to draw, you can draw a shear versus sigma, tau versus sigma, normal versus shear, and this line, which is the envelope, which is this part, this distance is soil cohesion. And one can say the safety factor along this line is equal to one. If you move upward, safety factor is less than one, and that's a, an important meaning. It just says in this region, th there is no soil. Soil is already fake. There is soil, but it's not. It's not as as this soil cannot handle any 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 load. So it already failed. So we can there is we can say soil is not defined over this line. All we have as a bearing capacity of soil is is like below this line and that's a safety factor more than one so one can say below this line we can define the soil as a material which which handles the bearing load which which can be just capable to to handle the force and definitely this is the internal feed and that's cohesion of soil which is in the strength formula of soil and also by drawing can draw a circle like this is effect of sigma major minor and sigma major on, on more circular and also in soil sample so this is the applied one the first part was the resisting part the circle is the applied load like the normal applied to the soil and as soon as we have our resistance which is this part and our applied which is the circle so this is the applied one as we talk about it and this is the resisting formula for soil and failure is when these two are tangent to each other when the circle is tangent to the line this line is tangent to the circle we can say failures happen by drawing method so now we can interpret the more column failure like this 
the Merkel failure criterion present the linear envelope. This is the linear envelope, which is obtained from the plotting of the shear strength. This is shear strength and 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 versus the applied normal stresses. These are applied normal stresses, sigma minor, sigma major, which are axis of normal stress. So these two points are minor and major stresses. This is minor stress. This is the major stress. And that's why we can define it this way. We'll work uh, around it to solve more problems by this definition. Thank you. See you on next videos.